In the previous lecture, you understand how to create a function. Now let's talk about how to create a function parameter. Using function is pretty straightforward and creating them isn't all that complicated either. When working with parameters, the first question comes in where the parameter value comes from. When you pass parameter to the function, you would need to pass value as an argument to the function when you call it. We talked about that in the previous lecture. Creating a function does nothing. You need to call it to perform action. For example, here I have function created in the previous lecture. Now if I execute this file, this will do nothing because this function won't execute until you call it. Until you call this function, this code won't work. If I want to execute this function code, so I'm going to just call this function right here, just like this with the name of the function and then specify parentheses. In this parentheses, I'm going to specify value to these parameters. So when you call this function, you specify the values to these parameters. And this is what we call an argument. I'm going to pass argument to this function. If the function has parameter, you need to pass value in the parenthesis. The argument value get passed to the parameter. Then function use these values and return back when the work is done. So now when I execute this file, this statement will first execute and call this function. Once this function is called, these values pass to these variables. So this 5 pass to this x variable and this 5 pass to this y variable. Once this value pass to this variable and return the value to this function. So now this function is going to return the multiplication of both these values. So now this function is going to return the multiplication of both these values. So when you use this function in the print statement, you're going to get the multiplication of both these values. So basically the work of the function is very simple. Function get the value using argument and then manipulate it and return back to the function. This return statement return the value back to the function and using this function, I can access that manipulated value. Now the question comes in, can we change the parameter value? Yes, we can. Well, the parameters are just variables like others. So this works as you would expect it. So let me just create a one more function here. So if I just create here a function change. So to create a function, I'm going to start with define keyword, then specify the name to this function. So I'm going to say here change. So this is the name of this function and here I'm going to pass parenthesis and in this parenthesis I'm going to pass parameter. So here I'm going to just say val. So this is the name of this variable and just for that I'm going to specify colon to specify block of function and in this function I'm going to specify value to this parameter. So here I'm going to say val is equal to and then specify daily. So I'm going to just initialize this variable with this value. Now I'm going to just return it. So I'm going to say here return well, just like this. Now here I'm going to use print statement to print this value. So here I'm going to call change. So here I'm going to pass tuition. So when you execute your statement, you can notice you have daily as a result. So this statement is going to use to change the value of the parameter. You can notice we pass tuition in the argument, but we get the result daily. This tuition value is going to pass to this parameter. I'm going to just change the value of this parameter using this statement. I'm going to change this parameter value to daily and then return it. So when the return statement returns the value, it's going to pass to this function and then I'm going to print it using print statement. So you're free to change the value of the parameter anytime whenever you want. Now what if you forgot to add this return statement? Let's see if I just get rid of this return statement right from here. And if I just execute this file, I'm going to have none as a result. The function is going to return the default value which is none. If you forget to add return statement, the function return none. As you know, you cannot change the tuple because it is mutable. But parameter can be useful to change sequences. In the previous lecture, we understand how we can use sequences in the Python. Now, can we use this parameter to change the value of the sequence? Yes, we can. Let me show you a very simple example to understand how we can use this parameter to change the value of the sequence. So for example, if, so if I just create here a function change and to this function, I'm going to pass parameter val and to this val, I'm going to just specify square bracket to access the zero index of the sequence. And then I'm going to pass equal to sign and specify here change value just like this. And just for that here, I'm going to create a sequence. So I'm going to just create a variable name and specify list to it just like this. In this list, we have first name and the second name. Now I want to change the value of this first name. I can use this change function. So just for this name, I'm going to use change function and then I'm going to pass this name 
as an argument to this function now when you pass this name as an argument to this function what happen is this function is going to call and this value as this name sequence so in this value we have this a sequence and then i'm going to specify zero index to access the first value of the list and then i'm going to change it using this value so when i print name you can notice so using parameter i'm going to change the value of the list anytime whenever i want if i change this index and if i specify here one then you can notice i have the changed value to the second index using parameter you can change any sequence very easily now what if you change this list to tuple just like this if i specify here parenthesis then this list is now converted to tuple and now when i execute the statement and try to change this second value you can notice i'm going to have an error message because as you know tuple is mutable you can't change the value of the tuple that is why you're going to get an error message so parameters can be very useful when working with list and dictionaries as well now in the next lecture we're going to talk about positional parameters